everyone. Welcome to this week's Newry's Loose Women, and Joanne is back. Hey. <laughs> We've missed you, Joanne. And I yeah. missed you. Yeah. Just I wasn't miss quite my the same. Dumping partner. <laughs> I miss my side of the seat, Polly. <laughs> I don't know why I ended up in here, but I have to tell you, it's a big go. <laughs> I'm not telling you that. Well, I think it's better this side here. I can yeah, uh, there's more of a there's, yeah, a, there's more, more of a dip. dip. I'm smaller than you, you so actually I look actually look more. No, you actually look taller today. Right. So now you know how I felt in that side. Yeah, it's a right. bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any chairs? A bit of an upgrade, please. <laughs> We've become a bit, you know, diva-ish. Yeah, we're getting very mm. spoiled in our old age, aren't we? Yes. And speaking Indeed. of diva, what diva. will that leave us, lead us on to our first topic this week? <laughs> We're going to be even more divas, aren't yes, we? Yes. Yeah. Um, We're ranting. Ranting. We yes. need to rant every so often. Yes. Uh, about users, abusers, abusers. Um, yeah. people who... Annoying. Well, people who think it's okay to tramp all over you. To get and to And they come back and go. tramp all over you some more. And they think they're totally justified. Yeah. Well, not mention no names. <laughs> Polly was on a little rant. She was going to kill a few people. This week, yeah, so. yeah. Just you know, when you feel somebody has used and abused you, and picked your brain yes. and took your ideas, and yes. just okay, let's move on. Yeah, but the thing that irritates me is okay. As we said there before the camera started, nothing really stays the same, and people do move on, and things change, and all yeah. the rest of it. But you can be upfront about, right? Okay, this changes are happening. Don't be behind the doors about it. Just because be you have more respect front. then for people. Totally. Right? I think that's it. You, you, when you lose respect for people that you had up there, yeah. that's re it's that that gets you more than anything. Because like, we're very resilient girls, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> like one day we have a rant and the next day we just dust ourselves off and get, get up and it. get or on with it. Have a cry. Yeah. But these people, but you know, mummy always said, long runs the fox. Mm -hmm. Do you know, and you, you get what you give. give yeah. And I'm a firm believer in that too. And karma has everyone's dress. Yes, <laughs> it's right, Amanda. Yeah. It's totally right. So mm -hmm. maybe, you know, they get their come up and for being so ruthless is the word. I believe that, you know, it may not happen today, tomorrow, six months, a year down the line, but yeah. eventually it will Can come back and yeah. bite. But I just don't get the whole using people to get to where you does want to go. Turn, but that I don't all forget it. That's quite, it happens an awful lot, that people using each other. But Joanna, Doesn't if somebody like, done you a good turn, would you ever forget it? No, I would never forget it. I I don't would you take advantage of it? No, I would mm. rather, I'd rather give to somebody than take of somebody. Yeah. That's the way I was brought up. But even there, Amanda and I were in the car going somewhere there a few weeks ago and I was off and around and, bet, 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 and giving off with somebody or something. <laughs> and Amanda said, calm down, Joanne. <laughs> So I was telling Bert the other day, I said, Amanda told me, because I went to go off one again, I said, no, I'm not going to give off and slag such and such off or say this and say that. I said, Amanda told me a few <laughs> weeks ago in the car. Auntie Amanda. Would you, <laughs> what was the way you said it, would you give out? Is what you get is back. Is what you get back. So I was taking a lot of deep breaths. Yeah. As but it is <laughs> true. It is, and you know what? Yeah, but Ultimately, sometimes you wish they would dish the dirt on them a wee bit quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not yeah. horrible, yeah. you know. But like, you would love to see them get their come up and a yes, lot quicker. Yeah. Like Amanda, you think <laughs> of some of the people that we've done turns for, uh -huh. and I mean, hard work. People yes. don't appreciate mm -hmm. how you put yourself out, yeah. let your family down, yeah. and then you're just dropped. Put them at the top of your list of uh -huh. to-dos to make things work. And I have to say, if we're sent to do a job, it's done properly. properly yeah. to the highest. And to the highest standard. standard yeah. And then, with no, no thought. Mm -hmm. Nothing. But, but, you know. Is that the business world, though? I yes, don't, I think Put up is. and shut up. Yeah, it is. You know, they're all I know. like, for everyone's out for themselves like that. People, where I'd rather help somebody get there. Yeah. But then, are you a businesswoman or not? Are we going to have to get hard, hard enough, girls? <laughs> get tough. <laughs> to, to, to succeed. Yes. Yeah. I know um, when I used to work, yeah. well, I still work, but when I used to work, say, well, I worked Somebody in the veterinary else, surgeons. Yes. Yeah. And the farmers that would have rang in and would have been pleasant, yes. I would have always done for them. The ones that rang in being ignorant and demanding and I want, I want, I want, whatever it was that they wanted, yeah. they were put to the bottom of the... Of course. Because... <laughs> now there are some big yeah. farmers, take care. <laughs> Most of are a bit grumpy. Because I just felt, <laughs> you know, it's unnecessary. You don't... 
what's that saying about honey? You trap no, you get more. Ah, uh, you get more honey from the bee. No, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it'll come back to me. Just it'll a, come back. I'll, it'll come back. But you attract more. <laughs> Sean, do you know that saying? No, no. You attract He's too young. anyway. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Sean's our floor manager, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> our gopher. Um, I feel that the way you treat people is the way that I treat people, people the way I want you. people to treat me. Yes, yes. But that's not how it's working. No. Like I firmly believe, but then now maybe, you say I'm thinking this, girls, I think these people that do treat you disrespectfully uh -huh. are people that are actually in trouble. And unhappy. And not, not even that, Joanne, financially. Like, have you not noticed people are more ruthless in troubled times when mm, things aren't well, going yeah, so true. good? Yes, yeah. And maybe, you know, getting a job done cheaper. Yeah. Because, and I do think that too. Yeah. You have to have a bit of sympathy in that, you know, they're scraping the barrel, really, and they have to... But... <laughs> <laughs> there we go now. I put that yes. very nicely. That's very but polite. even, very even polite. at that time, whenever you're going through, that's whenever you, you want people to come around you and help you and... Do you know what I mean? Like people, most people aren't like that. No. There's only a select, small amount of nice people. And some <laughs> of these people that we would be talking about, mm -hmm. business people, they want the thing done for nothing. That's right, yeah. So th that's Come the problem. Come across quite a few of those, yeah. Yeah, you know, and as you say, Amanda, they'll undercut you in your line of work oh, yes. because of somebody coming up underneath you that'll do it for half the yeah. price. Yes. And that's basically what it boils down to. But do you to have to be also. ruthless to survive in business? I think so. Yes, yeah. I think so. I think you have to have Pretty that strict. ruthless edge yeah. to really succeed. I really think so. Is it being ruthless or is it being focused and driven and do you, do you truly have to step over everybody in business to yeah, succeed? Isn't there a wee saying, in. and maybe I shouldn't say this, but you know, to make a, make your first million, you have to break the law. Oh, okay. Is that right or wrong? <laughs> I've heard that a few times now. That's my like ask you, you have to, you know, you have to Fiddle be a out. bit ruthless, twist things a wee bit to make but your first million, and then the second, third, fourth, whatever millions, they come easy when you've that first million made. But the first million is a hard one to make. You see, I, I don't know... I feel it's a bit of everything, really. You know, there is that those people, but there's some of those ruthless people that, if I wouldn't go near them because I couldn't stand their attitude, I'd rather go to somebody that's a nice person, you know, to deal with. But is being ruthless, being disrespectful to people, is it walking over people? Is it just cutting every corner you can? Or being ruthless, you're still treat your staff with respect, people that you work with res with respect, but you're ruthless in that no one will yeah. pull the wool over your eyes, no one will take advantage of you. Is that? You know, the definition of being ruthless. Well, then we've said it all wrong. Well, it's not being <laughs> people that being are ruthless for even. business. Yeah, that's grand. If you have to be ruthless to make your business succeed in the same breath, treating people with respect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're talking at the people that don't even give you the respect. No. You know, it's okay to ask this or do that or do the other. Like People have to lay people off at, you know, at troubled times and that. There's a way of doing it. There is a way of yeah. an act. You know, there is a way of doing it. And you, like, there's even some of them men that you've seen on the television lately being let off. Management didn't even have mm -hmm. the gall to stand in front of them and tell yeah, them. them. It's that that galls you. Do you know, yeah. that maybe give 20 years of their life to a company. But the reality is we're all but a number. That's, yeah, that's life, Amanda. That is life. You know yeah. yourself. How many jobs have you left, moved on? Yeah. And, like, and I would say that to people. You are yeah. a number. Yeah. The That's very it, next yeah. day, it's moved yeah. on. Like, I see my sisters up and down to Belfast on, you know, bad mornings, and you're forever saying to them, if you were run off the road today, uh -huh. that still That's carries on yeah. tomorrow, and there's another person just steps into your shoes. Yeah. Well, there's even, okay. as on Monday, another lady that Amanda and I work with, you know, with Arbonne. Yeah. She is working with a big airline. I can't say their name. Um, for 20, <laughs> to, no, 29 uh, years, and after 25 years of service, not even a thank you. Yeah. Nothing. We're in Arbonne, we get recognition for every stage we get. And there she, 20, 29 years she's yeah. with them, nothing. and nothing after her 25 years. Not even a wee message. And all you really want is a wee bonus, Just, uh, isn't it? Yeah. You don't even want yeah, a message. Not, not even a message, yeah. <laughs> but you know, so... But why is, that that there people, why is there people that feel that that's the only way to, to do it? By using, abusing, stamping Stamp, all over yeah. you? Why? I don't know, Amanda. 
I don't know. It just happens all the time. Because we're not those ki that kind of pr people. That's why we, it doesn't register to me to be like that. I wouldn't think you like, would get far in life being like no. that, but there is people do succeed. Like, there's different areas in work that we've gone into, you know, and you know, and I know, and it called for you to be ruthless. And as opposed to go there, mm -hmm. I decided that line of work's not for me. Yeah. And I have made that call twice yeah. in my life. And I'm still youngish. <laughs> but you have to be. But twice I've stepped yes. away from certain yeah. businesses. It has to be I right. Thought, has enough, 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 right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because who are you pleasing then at the end? It's not yourself. It's and then in the same breath, it. Amanda, I stepped back from one particular business thinking, no, that is so not for me. It's ruthless and you have to be cruel yeah. to get yeah. on in that line of work. Yes. However, the woman, the boss woman mm -hmm. of a certain business, I have nothing but admiration for her. Yes. Do you know, uh, she she work, oh, she yields a whip, yeah. and I understand why. Yeah. And uh, you know, you've got your feet wet mm -hmm. in the business, and thought, oh my God, no way can yeah. I do what she has Still, to do yeah. daily. But I admire her. So, is she ruthless to other people? Is she, do you know? And I think she has to be that way to make that work. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wouldn't work otherwise. But is she nasty? No, very no. very direct straight and she'll say the thing and it's maybe sounds cruel mm -hmm. to someone else right. to me it sounds cruel and i wasn't prepared to do it however anything she's ever said you've agreed yeah quietly yes but you hadn't the got yes. to well, say you know yeah. again there it's the the way you probably say something she was being truthful not taking advantage of anybody in a way because yeah just straight yeah and hasn't time to yeah. flap about Mm -hmm. Do you know, to make something work. So yeah. I respect that. Yeah. And a lot of yes. business people yeah. have come across, I appreciate why they do what they do. Do you know, and saying that too, they're the first to praise and give out yeah, praise well, where it's good. due. Yes. So that's yeah, okay. It's, yeah. it's well, that the is, people yeah. that Balance, don't do yeah. that, Amanda. It's the people that take all the good and give nothing back. Yeah. They're the people that you would take issue yeah. with. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think. No, and the right, ones yeah. that are, oh, sure, it's all right. They'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, gets nice your back asked, up a bit. Yeah, yeah. No, they're not. So. Yeah, they're too. It's nice to be asked, but it's nice to be thanked as well. Just a simple yeah. thank you would be nice. Yeah, thank you is yeah. always nice, yeah. isn't it? Even mm. when you make the dinner, do you? <laughs> I remember a man in my house. I, and there's this Italian man comes to my house sometimes for dinner, right? And I know his mother is an amazing cook, so I'll cook something. And the first few days he sat in it, and he said, "Was that okay? That was nice." Oh, don't do nice. And I go, the minute I leave, I go, what? Oh, nice. <laughs> Who's he thinking? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So he'd come back a few times. And then Jerry and the boys always find it dead funny. Every time he'd say, nice. Nice. And I think, I want nice. Did he ever no. get lovely? Huh? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Then one night, After I just went. lost. I didn't lose it. I just said, look, that, I don't like that word. I wife. really don't, I don't like, like that word. Stop using it. that word. It's either really good or not so good. What, what did you get? Oh, really good, really <laughs> good. <laughs> and I think it was just the language thing. Yes, yes. You know, like uh, for an Italian, mm -hmm. you yes. know, whose English isn't so good. Yes. Like was a very nice word. Aquiline, so yeah. he, I think he really meant really good. But he did, then, like, he did. Until he did. I went for him. <laughs> I don't like that word. <laughs> you wouldn't be like you, Pauline. No. no, well, we feel that you don't need to be. Well, I'd say when you're doing your business, there's a, a certain element of ruthlessness, Balancing. but it's not that you need to tramp over everybody, <laughs> everybody. to yeah. get to where uh -huh. you need to go. Yeah. It's back to that whatever you give out is what you get back. Are we That's happy it? medium? Yeah. Give In more between. and you get more. Yes. Yeah. We old man one day on the television said <laughs> him and he had this really happy marriage. Sean, are you listening? Sean's getting married very soon. And he'd been married for so many years. And the commentator said to him, and what's your secret? And he said, I learned very, very young. <laughs> if I give that wee bit to my wife, she give me so much more back. Aww. And then I give another bit, yeah. and she gives oh, so listening. much more, yep. more back. And he says, so through time, oh, we were constantly giving, giving, to each other. giving. Yeah. And he said, that's how come. I think they were just crazy, maybe 60 years married. So oh. really happy, do you oh, know? Yeah, so that's lovely. Here's my worldly advice for today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be back in a few minutes after we break. Destination Newry.
We're back in moments. OSM Engineering, Chancellor's Road, Newry. Specialising in PLC programmes, electrical control systems and supplies, electrical, pneumatic, hydraulic and mechanical maintenance. Vast range of electrical components in our new shop. And a wealth of combined experience of over 50 years. Contact us today, OSM Engineering, 11 Chancellors Road, Newry, 308-38778 or 308-38782 or osm-irl.com. Nine Max for fresh bread at great prices. We deliver free to local businesses and schools, and we also deliver to the local area for a small charge of three pound. So come down to us now. The amazing world of fine furniture. McCabe's on the Belfast Road, and Aladdin's cave of hidden treasure. Quality above all. Five generations trading. McCabe's have it right. A pride in tradition. The creation of value. Value and quality in our beds. Value and quality throughout the home. Value and quality in the finest sofas and chairs. Dining tables, chairs, memorable feasts. Pianos, a symphony of quality and value in a shop that grows in size with every step you take. McCabe's, the Belfast Road, New York. Newry Fuel Centre, with home heating oil deliveries available and best price for motor and home heating oil, contact Newry Fuel Centre. A fast fill pump on site on white diesel, less than 128 a litre. Special offers on premium coal, 25 kilogram, only 680. Premium doubles, 25 kilogram, £6.50. Singles heavy slack, £5. Propane and butane tanks, only £23. Open Monday to Saturday, 8am to 8pm. Sunday, 12pm to 6pm. Newry Fuel Centre, Carney Hall Industrial Complex, Newry, 302 51393. Attended service and cash and carry. Newry Fuel Centre. Destination. You've reached your destination. Go! Hi, everyone, and welcome back to this week's Newry's Loose Women. No. <laughs> Wait for a bell. <laughs> You have no wee moment there, well, Paul. No, if it's a wave, yeah. it's a doof. Yeah. Um, now, as we all love, like most women, clothes. Yes. Clothes, clothes, clothes. Yeah. The question mm. is, in some stores where you can buy clothes that little bit cheaper, is it always good to go that way? You know the way you think, oh, it's a wee bargain, it's a wee bargain. Yes. Is it always a bargain just because it's cheaper? Do you Sometimes. Get more <laughs> wear out of it, Pauline? Don't start me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Naming no shops no, in particular. No, no, no shops in. Um, right, John, what's your take on it? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, you know, the, there's those people out there that can't afford different budgets yeah. to the high, yeah. high end, you know, 
different quality of stuff. I know, but none of us can afford no. high end, yeah, really. But, but like. Usually, what you buy um, is what you get, you know. Yes. And sometimes the quality in certain things can be really, after one wash, is really useless. No, but I think that's ridiculous. That's really, yeah. really bad yeah. uh, quality, and you know where there, these things are shipped out from those countries that you know that we. I know, like the people employees are like sweating away there, and then yeah. to per, you know produce stuff that's really, really bad. But there is quite a lot of stores. You say people can't afford, Joanne. Like that's terrible on people that really can't afford and to the, go into these shops, and they're they're actually ripping off yeah. the people that can least afford, afford to yeah. be ripped they're off. Giving them that's crap. Because what yeah. happens is yeah. that they then have to go back and, get it and again, buy again, again, and again, and again, and again. And again. And again. Yeah. So if they add up how much they spent on one particular item, exactly. it would have been safer spending that wee bit more, more. at the beginning, Just, and then the, yeah. the top or jeans or there whatever it is for like longer. It's down to basic things, like, you know... Just a simple uh, T-shirt. For yeah. goodness sake, you know. Amanda, Jerry would have been harping at me, you should be going, why are you paying that, that, and that? Yeah. And once or twice you've been in a store and you've seen, like, uh, for example, a uh, kitchen roll. Yeah. At a pound. Yeah. You think, okay, there's a wee bargain, like, sure. But it is crap. <laughs> It, it is. Amanda, it, the amount of times I've yeah. took it and just put it in the bin and yeah. thought, I can't be bothered. You can't even pull it. Really oh, that even infuriates me. You, you turn and then it comes off. Yeah. Half, oh, yeah. That's actually so a good way to put it about the toilet roll. Uh, kitchen roll. <laughs> kitchen roll. roll. Oh, kitchen toilet yeah. roll, don't toilet start roll. me. Sure. Like, our boys would just refuse because it actually rips you. <laughs> it hurts you. <laughs> Leaves you. Don't do it. And again, as you yeah. said, well, would you... <laughs> you know what I mean? And the yeah, kitchen yeah. roll, you're fumbling and yeah. it breaks off wee bit yeah. by wee bit and then you actually throw it in the bin yeah. and you go and buy a decent roll. Where so you only need to use maybe one or two sheets and it absorbs what you need to, so you're not actually using as much. Do you yeah. see those big, They're big brilliant. jumbo? And they last yeah. forever. They last yeah. a forever, month. Yeah. I would do them once a month, the yeah. big jumbo. So you would be out four pounds buying the cheap one. No, actually you'd be out eight pounds for those cheapo ones, really. <laughs> really. Because they yeah. don't work. They really don't work. And you're, you're one big jumbo quicker. one, what is it, £2 something yeah. for a decent one that'll last you a month. And there's us talking about clothes now we're on the kitchen room. <gasps> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> but, but as you said, you, want, you do, you no, get what do. you pay for. Like, yeah. I've bought yeah. quite a few of those, if you see, in the summertime, you new know, a wee fest. Yeah. And then after one where I will say, right, I'll put, use that as part of my pyjamas. Because just I was going to say, use it as a duster. Yeah, well, I mean, I, a duster. I just after one wash and it's all hanging. Yeah, it loses yeah. its shape. You know, and you'd say, right. I do what I do. That, I, what, what did I even, you know... You could have bought. I said, just sweets. spend that wee bit more. more. I, I do quality, firmly yeah. believe, and yeah. I think people should cop on. I really do, Amanda. Like I bought a wee camisole top out of a certain place, and I, because everybody's saying good value, you're listening and you're thinking, yeah. right? I'm going to be nifty and thrifty, yeah. and do you know, catch myself <laughs> on. I thought, and Amanda, I just put it in the bin, one wash, and, and it just like. All uh, apart, just unwearable. You couldn't even wear it into bed because the straps went all twisty and she'd be uncomfortable. It, it isn't even fit for the bed. <laughs> Actually, I like to go to bed looking okay. <laughs> we <laughs> know. Do you effort. ever think, like, in the middle of the night, do you ever think that sometimes, like, you wouldn't know who'd come calling or what emergency would happen and there you and your are. Strap in your twisty strap your twisty strap. What would you do? I'm only joking. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no, but I say, you do initially think, Oh, look at I got the amount of stuff I got in here for thirty pound, thirty pound, forty pound, fifty pound, and you could just one nice piece yeah. that you'd use get next the word year, of it. The yeah. year after, and that you can the year mix after. and match with what's already in your wardrobe. Yeah, save a couple of pounds, yeah. save for uh, the few wee bits. Do you know, Ladies, don't go running every week. You do go not need a, a wardrobe full of clothes that you neither wear. All of the <laughs> That gather we dust. Well, I, well, well, I yeah. have to admit that I have, like, I did look there before Christmas and thought some cheaper things. Thought, what did I buy yeah. that for? Yeah, and I just do. lifted, lifted, yeah. and put them all into the charity shop, whether they'll get the go a word of them. But um, just to say, right, that is actually a good piece that will you can get yeah. a few, you know, seasons out of that. But I have, to admit, I have bought stuff that is pure. Yes. And you see, yeah. that's the thing, you know, and, and like that, you're looking at a wardrobe full of clothes saying I've nothing to wear, yeah. because that. maybe you haven't, because you're just rebuying yeah. the same thing over and over yeah. again. There's only one exception, when you're going abroad. 
Yeah, I yes, do not buy. mind left me yeah. because they're cheap. destroyed yeah. in sun oil. Yeah. or cheap t-shirts or sun cheap cream and yeah, all that. Because you're on yeah. the, in the sand, yeah. so, and even in and out of the pool, even the good ones, well, they do last you. You mm -hmm. will if yeah. you pay that wee bit more, you'll have them year after year. You will. However, you do not mind for something like that. Yes, there. just on yeah. holiday, only on holiday. But apart, apart from, from that, that, I'm not going there no more. I'm not. No. Or sometimes you walk into them shops, Amanda, and it's the colour that grabs you. Uh -huh. Do you know yeah. the bright sure, it's colours? Gone after and one it's so bang well. on trend. Yeah. And then it's gone. Yeah. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. And I the thing is, as well, no, that you're right, you're right. when you walk down the town, sorry, I'm sniffing you. When you walk down the town, there's about ten or twenty other people coming up in the same. And you know what? <laughs> Although I don't mind that so much. I remember one day going into. Uh, I was coming from a confirmation, and I went into was it a pub. <laughs> the, I can't name the place <laughs> and uh, I was in because we were going for something date and there was the lady was there from a christening and we were both in the same dress mm -hmm. so I was shocked got asked power among yeah. everybody that was with me oh my god oh my god yeah. but Jerry tapped me on the shoulder and he was right he was all do you think these are A-listers or something <laughs> and have personal designers these aren't A-listers so you can't get over yourself board. get over yourself <laughs> and move on and then I just laughed at myself. Yeah. So from then on, that's the first time yeah. it actually happened to me uh -huh. on a special occasion yes. that two people were in the same <laughs> yeah. thing. But you so were different and you had different, different bodies, accessories different. and things to yeah. it. But, it's um, actually a compliment. Was yours Good. nicer though? No. Do you look better in yours? You wore yours <laughs> no, far no. better. No, I actually, I did because the other woman had, you know, um, you did. a chest. <laughs> And I actually thought she flattered the dress more right, okay. because she had she more, had more of she an was ample more bosom. She was up here, yeah. so I thought she actually wore the dress better. You know, in the magazine, who wore it best? Ding. Perfect. Well, now even though we're saying about getting cheap stuff, we're not talking that you're going into extortionate prices either. Oh, oh, we're no. just saying that pay that little bit extra, yeah. and you'll find you probably actually save money in the long term. You're time talking yeah. maybe three, four pounds more. Yeah. In the shop just round the corner, corner. or yeah. you know in shopping centers shop yeah. away the, the god i'm never out of them yeah do you know and the high street brands mm. are every bit yeah. as good as the designer designer brands, brands really? yes. amanda yeah. like what are you, you get paying the for like you can do the not copies, make designer yeah. no, work no. god no Nobody just kind of you know, within your budget of yeah. course within but your just budget, but think about be canny yeah think you about know, right okay i have went in here and i said was spent 50 pounds 60 pounds whatever mm -hmm. yes you might come out with bags full of stuff but there it's may be very little of it that you can like wear we're again even, we're not even just saying about clothes although we should be just talking about fashion food amanda yeah you know the, the household stuff as well it's rubbish yeah. it is rubbish even like the furry the, the washing beans. up liquid you buy a cheaper brand yeah do you see like i have tried it well and somebody you know, and there's the, the water just yeah. turns nearly murky well i've noticed that the like I know there's the economy and brand and all that kind of things, but my children, like, not fussy eaters, well one of them is, <laughs> but there's the beans, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, right, I am going to buy these to see. And they will not eat them. And actually, I, would, I taste them, I wouldn't eat them myself because they're hard. They're not the proper. Ah, uh, yes. I can't say the names. But I have noticed in certain things, you got some of that is really horrible because you're buying it cheaper. I'd rather buy for a few pence more something that is decent and worth the money i was just what's the point in buying the cheap stuff and just throwing it I exactly three two, two tins of this the other day in the bin mm. not full oh, i says what's the point they're, they're sitting there with weeks and nobody's she, gonna eat them because no, mommy don't buy them yeah and you thought you For were saving, saving money and in yeah. the long run you're right more because you had to go and buy the, buy the proper, proper ones, thing yeah. and the, like the, it's the, as simple as that yeah yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. even in those saving shop places where you think you're getting, say, for example, a packet of biscuits <laughs> for <laughs> a pint. <laughs> Man, can we have a wee bit more etiquette, please? Saving shop, shop places place. <laughs> and sneezing in the meantime. <laughs> She's I'm, such a, I'm, I'm such a professional. But actually, there's less in the biscuits. There's less biscuits in it. Is there? Yes. <laughs> so you're not getting, you might think the you're making a saving, money. but you're not because there isn't as many biscuits in the pack. Have you counted them? Oh, Amanda. There we go now. Food for thought now. People probably say to me, no, Amanda, that's rubbish, actually, because look. <laughs> but I have it on good uh, 
No, it's a good, it's good mm, advice, yes, I yeah. think. And it's from people that give experience. And we exactly. all have children yeah. and you're shopping for children and you're trying to run a home and you're trying to budget and you're trying to be... Um, what is it? Wise. Uh, uh, savvy. There you That's go. Shop idea. savvy. Yeah. You You're words. trying to be uh, savvy, yeah. and it like I have learned through experience. That's not to say you'll never see me in one of these shops <laughs> having a wee brise <laughs> in the summertime and just getting her bikinis. And, uh, we flip flops and all. Ah, well, yeah. you know, yeah. there's certain wee bits that are definitely yeah. wee beach bags and all. Yeah, that. things I like mean, that. there are things that definitely, you know, but anything <laughs> that you want to be able to wash and wear again, yeah. I would think. And again, because you don't want to be going out every season and buying a load of new stuff. You want to be able to still have things that you can rewear. Re then um, under the argument that some people would give you also, I'm just thinking of people out there going, well, the lives every bitch is talking about. <laughs> Who was? <laughs> the, uh, the style changes that quickly, boom, boom, boom. But it boom. always comes back, right? It does, but, but whenever you've got your basics. Yes. You can add you can, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you've got your basic wardrobe and yeah. mix and match that way that you want to, in the basics that you're going to add to, that's where you want to spend just a little bit more money yeah. because yeah. you want to be able to, Quality, you know, what's going to be in your wardrobe again and again and again. Mm. Yeah. Because, say, for example, a little black dress. Yeah, that never goes out of fashion. Yeah. And you can, especially a wee Audrey Hepburn. That's stunning. You can swap you belts. Know, and you yeah. swap belts. Yeah. Swap accessories. Yeah. Swap accessories. Yeah. Yeah. I take so. the black tights up. I can't wait for the summer to come in. I'm Get fed up with black tights. I love burlap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just camis. I, I hate tights. tights. Yeah. I hate tights. I'm not a big fan myself. No. 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 So that's us for this week. Um, we will see you again next week. If you want to get in contact, you can do so uh, through Destination Uri's Facebook page or Vario.ie or if you want to get through to us on our own Facebook page, you can do so. So we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.